you know, Parcells, that was his thing. He could connect with the player. Oh. You know, he knew how to get the best out of his player. Like, he probably did this, that, that to Phil and treated Phil the way he treated him because that's what fires up Phil. Phil likes to be pissed off. He plays well pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> I don't know about you that. You know what I mean? And that's, and that's what, you know, Parcells tried to do. I saw a lot of that stuff, too, you know, from, from Belichick with certain people, you know. It's just... They do whatever it takes to push the button oh, to get the best out of you. Pushing buttons. He was great. Yeah. So you trade some – you trade – But he would – Bill, here's what Parcells would do. I watched him during the week. You know, he would walk around the locker room and get a guy and go, all right, now listen, here's what I need from you this week. You know, now you got to – you know, you got to – come on in. And he would work the room like, you know, he had a restaurant. He would wow. hit everybody individually just for 30 seconds – and maybe say something, you know, now you got to play better. I don't want to take your ass out, you know. Or what, But he was very, if you want honesty, he was honest. Well, he's looking at every piece of the machine to make sure it, I mean, it's the big blue wrecking crew. Every every piece has got to be But he great. worked everybody. Yeah. It was, uh, it was uh, an unbelievable thing. It's, a, it's, a, un, it's the best skill I think a coach can have. Absolutely. It's and to be able to do this to players, to be tough on them, and still, what's the word, not alienate them. No. And all that. They just knew this is what it is, and he's doing. You want honesty? I'll push. I just want you to be honest. Do you really? Do you really want him? Yeah. Well, Bill was honest. I saw him do this. I hate to tell these stories. We're in training camp, and we're doing an inside run thing. And we have a guard. I'm not going to say his game. He goes, I'll call him Billy. Billy, I got the plane ticket in my drawer. Don't make me give it to you. Come on. I got to see it. Come on, I got the damn plane ticket in the drawer. And I just go, wow, that was really, like, that was rough. Yeah. He just, and he would give the guy two or three days, and almost always, one morning we show, where's so-and-so? Oh, they let him go. But he would warn him, um, if you he don't pick bluffing. it up. Oh, no, he never bluffed. Wow. But I heard him do that quite a few times. Yeah. But he was warning the guy, you know, that if you don't practice better, then it's just not going to work here. The plane ticket in the drawer. Yeah, the, I got the. I mean, I can that is, see it like a. My ex girlfriend did the same thing to me. Did Brutal. she? No. But, uh, 